The following example demonstrates generation of your 3D geologic model from cross sections or wells with unit contact points. The data shown is from the demo project included with the 3D Builder trial version and the full version installation. So on the screen you have a set of wells with points that represent uh, unit contacts to your various geologic formations. Uh, the well path can be shown and each of the formations points can be colored differently. On the tree on the left side you have the data objects that you've imported into the project. We also have some cross sections that have been imported from Hydrogeo Analyst that in the form of fence diagrams. And you can display that in 3D and do zooming and rotating. In the tree there you'll see you're able to group uh, different data objects and create folders for points, polygon to polylines. Each of the objects has settings including uh, metadata. You can do the table that shows the raw data, so your XYZ values with your attributes. You can change the symbol and the color. So after you have your XYZ points you can interpolate those and generate surfaces. By selecting the create surface option the following screen will load. You specify which object you're going to use from the tree and you click on the add button there. Next is to choose which interpolation method you want to use and that's available in the settings tab and we have inverse distance, Krieging and natural neighbors available. So when you click OK a surface will be generated and that's shown in the surfaces folder on the tree on the left side. So you can repeat that for each of the point state objects to generate surfaces that represent the top and bottoms of your geologic formations. Each of the surfaces also has settings so you can show contour lines, contour labels, uh, classified or stretched view. Now we have the contour lines shown on the screen for the for your ground surface and now you're turning on the other surfaces for the other geologic formations. Once you have your surfaces defined, you're ready to start designing your conceptual model. So you have a polygon that you've imported or digitized within the environment that represents the area where you want to run your conceptual model. And then the 2D view here shows the bigger perspective of your site with background shape files that represent roads, rivers, streams, and lakes, for example. The yellow polygon shown on the screen there represents where you're going to design the conceptual model. And you can trace on that over top of an air fold that you've loaded into the 2D, 3D builder environment. So now that I have my polygon and my surfaces, I can generate my conceptual model structure. And when I generate horizons from the surfaces, the resulting are 3D geologic zones or volumes. For those zones, you can define property values, connectivity, storage, for example. Showing on the screen now are those 3D zones or volumes that are generated in between the horizons. So you can display each of these zones, call them differently, turn on also other shape files, maps, uh, cross sections, wells, for example, and manipulate that in a 3D environment, including rotating, pan, and zooming in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom out. You can also apply a cutaway to the 3D geologic model along uh, X, Y, Y, Z, or X, Z plane. And you can rotate it around to see the cutaway in 3D view.